Python has a module that's specifically designed to make it easier to read and write data from CSV files. In this section of the lesson, we're going to look at how those functions can be used. The Python CSV module defines two objects that we can use to read data in from CSV files. These two objects are called csv.reader and csv.dictreader. Both of these objects are iterable and they are made by reading in data from CSV files. Each line in those files, that is each line that's ended by a new line character is turned into one of the iterable items that's a part of that object. Each of the iterable items in the reader object is a list where the items in the list correspond to the columns of the row. In the dict reader, each iterated item is a dictionary with a key for the column header and a value for the row of that column. We'll see how this works in some examples. Because you can only iterate through these items one time, if we want to reuse the items, either the dictionary or the list, we can append them to a list so that we can make use of them again multiple times. Here's some code that creates a CSV reader object and then reads the data in. First, of course, we have to import the CSV module and we open the file as we typically do. There's two differences from the open statements we've seen before. One thing is that we open it for reading, but we do not use the text attribute. So it's just R, not RT. We also have to include this additional argument that ha has some technical details about how new lines are treated in the file object. We create an instance of the reader object. And when we do that, we pass in the file object. And then we assign the newly created reader object to a variable called reader object. We can ask some questions. So we can ask what kind of thing it is. And then as we iterate through each row of the reader object, we can ask what kind of thing the row is and then have it print the row itself. So if we run this, we can see that the reader object itself is a member of the class CSV reader. And each of the lines that get read in is an instance of a list. And here we can see the list for the headers and then the list for the three data items. 